Good morning, everyone. Power Light TV broadcast, Power Light TV channel. Pastor Brian. And Pastor Tasha. We're restoring families, and I'm telling you, we are going to have a good one today. Oh, yes. We're going to have a good one today. <laughs> Yesterday was good. Today's going to be good. I'm expecting. Amen? Really? Yep. Okay. <laughs> yep. I'm expecting. How's so, day two of the faith? You see, I'm, I'm, I got my faith out there, right? You know, I, day I two noticed you've been there. like energetic. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Yesterday, you were yeah. just like it's all faith. moving. It's faith. I'm like, why are you moving so much? Well, I got up yesterday early in the morning. I went to work out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. 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 So, uh, yeah. And then I have a, a prayer call that I do. And usually, you know, we sit at the table and just kind of. Yeah hang out a little bit but you were not hanging out i was moving you you were moving I had energy you had energy yeah you were clanking pots and yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so i'm looking forward to uh keeping that going yeah okay. well this is the day that the lord has made we, we will, will rejoice, rejoice and be glad in it so as my wife said we're on day two <laughs> of our fast and i know that you are just just loving it and just Hey, man, pastors. Hey, I'm, who I'm, needs coffee? I'm so glad you did this, pastor. Who needs sweets? <laughs> who needs that? I need, I need spinach. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Well, yeah, so the day of fast is going well. Going, going well. well, yeah. Going well, yeah, well okay. we're, we're talking about uh, the foundation today. Okay. We're talking about the uh, kingdom families, and of course, we have an assignment to teach on kingdom and as a, as a calling on our lives, we are here to teach families, number one, how to live in the kingdom of God. Yes. Uh, and if, if, if things are out of order in your life, we want to help restore them. You know, the enemy should not have first place. Absolutely not. In, in the know, family. It's up to us to believe by faith that yeah. God will do the supernatural. That's right. I feel like we teach things that are so important, you mm -hmm. know, uh, so uh, pivotal to uh, the way we think, mm -hmm. you know, because as a man thinketh, thinketh in his heart, yeah. the Bible says, so is he. Mm -hmm. And we have become a culmination of all the words that we uh, either believed or heard mm -hmm. about ourselves. So the image that God created has been distorted. Yeah, that's exactly and, right. Uh, <laughs> Come on. That's a good word. I know that, you know, I personally want to see everyone live a victorious life. Mm -hmm. And so then we have to say, have we given them the tools? Yeah. You know, well, are they knowledgeable about these things? Yeah. Do they know, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. uh, this these things that we're teaching? You yeah. know, yeah. not only does science back up the word, mm -hmm. whether you know it or not, yeah. you know. Yeah, come on. <laughs> yeah, sometimes science misinterprets the evidence it sees and mm -hmm. thinks, oh, no, well, that, that can't be. But it only takes a matter of time before science proves that the word is true. Yeah, and some science is finally catching up to the word of God. Very true. It's catching up, you know. Uh, but one thing that uh, I think you mentioned on our Restoring Families group the other day is that we spend a lot of times and work overtime getting a license to drive. Right. We uh, go through hours of training to get a license to shoot a gun. Mm -hmm. You know, but we don't we don't take the same amount of energy and right. the same amount of effort to get a license to be married. Right. And so I believe that when there's a breakdown in the family, when mm -hmm. there's a breakdown in the household, it can create a ripple effect. Right. And it'll hit all segments of society. Well, you, you know, know, I know, you know, the way I was talking, it's easy to think about like natural sciences, mm -hmm. but look at social sciences. Mm -hmm. Look at how they have studied the way we interact mm -hmm. with each other yeah. on a societal level. Mm -hmm. Every time the moral quality of a region has decayed, wow. so has the society. Mm -hmm. So then we have to look at what's happening to us and say, where are my morals mm -hmm. placed? Mm -hmm. Is it in the way that the world is doing things? And most of us know that the way the world is going, things are things are, yeah. are not yeah. gonna happen well if we continue in this trajectory. Yeah. But if we get back to the roots, mm -hmm. back to how God designed it, maybe we have a chance. Yeah, and so I'm, I'm excited about this because <laughs> 
Uh, I really believe if we deal with the family, mm. we deal with the, uh, and what we're going to talk about today, we begin to talk about the fathers and deal with the fathers and, because uh, they're the head, you know, mm -hmm. um, and I'm not calling the wife or the woman a lesser, it's just the order of how God did things. And, and if the man is the foundation, mm -hmm. then if the uh, Psalms 11 uh, and 3, it says that the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? That's right. So we, we want to get back to uh, talking about this. We, we had a good talk yesterday, and I want to get back to talking about the man and how right. we can... Um, help build up our men, you know. Mm -hmm. And so um, I already had the scripture up, didn't realize that it was up while we were talking. Uh, <laughs> but let's go back to Proverbs chapter 4, verse 1. Okay. And uh, go ahead and read that out. It says, Hear, my children, the instruction of a father, and give attention to no understanding. For I give you good doctrine. Mm -hmm. Do not forsake my law. Yeah. For when I was my father's son, tender and on, and the only one in the sight of my mother, he also taught me and said to me, let your heart retain my words, keep my commandments mm -hmm. and live. Wow. Get wisdom, get understanding. Do not forget nor turn away from the words of my mouth. Yeah. So I, I I I love that scripture. Get wisdom. Get wisdom. So to me, it's like a commandment. Get <laughs> I, wisdom. I believe it is. Yeah, <laughs> you know, and I, I did a teaching a while back about how to get wisdom, and wisdom is number one equal to the word of God. Mm -hmm. So every time I get the word, I'm getting wisdom. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's why it's good for a man, a whole family, mm -hmm. to be uh, rooted and grounded in the word of God. Right, and you know what's so interesting about this. You know, I know that it's not only men listening to this program. Mm -hmm. It's women, it's children, it's teenagers, it's people from every walk of life. Mm -hmm. And you might say, why is this important for me to know? It's important because families are, I mean, families are built on the foundation yeah. of a good father. If you're yeah. a single woman so good, so good. and you've not selected your husband, you have to know that. When mm. you're selecting a husband, you're also selecting a father. father. Does that mean y'all are necessarily going to have children? Maybe you will. Maybe maybe you won't. Mm -hmm. But he's going to lead your household. He's mm -hmm. gonna he's gonna be in relationship with you. Mm -hmm. Do you want a husband you can't depend on, or mm -hmm. that if you, later on if you decide to have children, they can't depend on? Mm -hmm. Well, no. You want to pick good. a good, good father, word. you know. Yeah. And then if you wow. have children. You want your children yeah. uh, to see what a good model looks like. If you came from a household or you're in a situation right now and you're like, Pastor T, you just don't understand. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Right now, my situation is not that good. Well, this is why we're teaching you what yeah, we're teaching. That's you. right. Yeah. So that you can, you know, make some adjustments maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe, you know, uh, you're not in a position to make adjustments but maybe you're in a place of making plans mm -hmm. uh, maybe uh it's time for you to get a new way of thinking yeah, about right. your current well, situation well think about the word repent repent means return and, back and, to the penthouse. when i when i hear that word pent i think top top pent, penthouse yes. you know so go back to the top isaiah 55 my thoughts are not your thoughts right neither are uh excuse me your thoughts are not my thoughts, neither your ways, my ways, for my thoughts are higher. higher right. So we have to return back to higher thinking. When Adam was in that Garden of Eden, he thought on the level of God. Right. He acted like God. He talked like God. He walked like God. But when sin hit the garden, mm -hmm. then Adam fell. But not only did he fall, but his thinking fell. Right. And so we got to return back to the level of thinking, not with our flesh, right. not with our loins. And I, right. I don't mean to be graphic here so early in the morning, but we have to think like God mm -hmm. when choosing a mate. Yes. And you know, can I just say that, you know, when me and you got married, we were not born again, mm -hmm. neither one of us. Mm -hmm. And, but God changed us. So we, yeah. can, so we have to go back to believing God and trusting him for miracles. Even yeah. in our in our marriage, yeah, you I know, a that. lot of times we confine miracles to what God might do in our body as far as 
healing and mm. what he might do in our emotions so as far as restoration. But God wants to restore marriages. Mm -hmm. And so he wants to do miracles in marriage. He wants to do miracles. Why? That's because so good. He is the God of miracle. He miracles. He is the father or the source mm -hmm. of it all. So mm -hmm. he wants to show you that he's God. Amen. But he wants you to put your trust in him. Mm -hmm. You so know, good. what good would it be for God to do some great miracle in your life and you not know that it came from him? That's so good. Come on. Yeah. And it's time for miracles in marriages. Absolutely. I prophesy that. Amen. Well, yesterday we left off talking about um, uh, a few statistics about how, uh, you know, children are uh, in a single parent home or when there's fatherlessness. So, right. We so, were highlighting the importance of uh, fathers in the household by looking at some of the characteristics of a fatherless household. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the statistics were drastic. Mm -hmm. But, you know, that there are some positive statistics yeah. about the positive effects Let's get to the good news. of a father <laughs> in the household. Now, yeah. you know, these are the things they never teach you in school mm -hmm. concerning the importance of having a father in the household. And, and I, can I just say, I can understand the uh, desire to encourage the single mom or the mm -hmm. single father. Yeah. You know, I understand it, but at the same time, we should go back and tell them, hey, it's gonna, be, this is this is a way that's gonna be yeah. a lot easier, yeah. you know, a lot better. Uh, this is the, the desired way. So here's some uh, statistics. Even through play, fathers encourage, listen to this, mm. competition, yeah. challenge, initiative, risk taking and independence in the lives of their yeah, children i can see that yeah. i can see that you well, know well men by nature are very risky you know and uh women are kind of well men are tend kind of, to be uh very competitive yeah yeah uh, one of our main motivations as a woman is to be very security minded mm -hmm. a woman who feels insecure is not going to feel safe in a marriage yeah yeah, and so, yeah. uh, or yeah. any any relationship that she feels in, unsafe in, she's not gonna like that relationship. Mm -hmm. uh, men are are very logical in their thinking, mm -hmm. and will push the boundaries. Yeah. In some respects, but do you know that even in the financial world, the biggest payoffs were first started by the biggest risks. Risk takers, so, yeah. you know, while it's good to be safety minded, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes if you're not a risk taker, you'll never try anything new. Yeah, and you have to realize too, the, the, the dynamics of a man and a woman. And, and, you know, when you're looking at, especially like I think about mothers raising young boys and they're, and they're saying, why are you doing that? You know, why are you going out there? Why are you do all this? It's because of what you just said. Are you, yeah. are you saying that mothers don't understand? No. <laughs> I'm not because saying they don't I understand, but I'm just saying that neither one of my parents uh, uh, understood. No, I'm just uh, that's, a, that's a good point. But what I, what I mean is, you know, without this information, without this knowledge, my people perish for a lack of knowledge. Right. So your sons are doing certain things, and you're questioning why are you doing this? Boy, are you stupid? Boy, are you no. Men by nature are. are they challenge things that, you know, they're logical in their thinking. And you as a mother, you're safety minded. Right. So to know now why your son may act a certain way is to, number one, trust in the Lord, mm -hmm. you know, trust in the guidance. And also know that this, uh, know that this revelation is something that you can now, you know, channel your energy or channel your son's energy in a certain way. You right. Know? And that's not to say that because he's a son, he doesn't need discipline. Yeah. In fact, the no, more of a risk. <laughs> yeah, he needs discipline. Don't, don't let me get on discipline. do need discipline. Yeah. So let's look at some of these statistics, some more of these statistics. Uh, fathers improve, a father in the home improves a child's verbal skills, yeah, problem that. solving ability, mm. academic performance, mm. development of empathy. Mm. In other words, a sociopath have this developmental deficit. deficit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They have that developmental deficit mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, of empathy. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's why this is so important. Uh, a father helps a, a young man develop this. Mm -hmm. uh, fathers in the home affects a level of civil society in the following areas. Imprudence, and cooperatives and honesty and trust 
in self-sacrifice mm -hmm. and equip citizens with other skills needed for economic provision. That's good. That's good. Like who knew? You know, but I do recall, you know, that, you know, sometimes my dad would push me to do things that my mom, mom wouldn't, wouldn't do. Yeah. That's, you know, yeah, maybe on some things I remember as a kid, you know, you know, mom kept me in a, in a certain yeah. box that mm -hmm. dad would say, oh, no, you can do that. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I do recall that. Yeah. And I also remember playing competitive games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, with my father. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I can see how this is, it, this can, you know, this is really true. Yeah. You know, the the, the thing that we, uh, I want to I wanna touch on, maybe we can touch on it tomorrow. I want to touch on, the, you said a word just now, discipline. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, and I, I on, on. Uh, a couple of Wednesday nights ago, we taught on discipline mm. and the importance of discipline and the effects of discipline. And I heard you say something about empathy. You know, mm. you know, the ability to understand another person's feelings. Mm -hmm. uh, I I know that raising my daughters, mm -hmm. I, I I taught them to think outside of the box. We taught them to think outside of the box. But I remember showing them how to empathize with a person's situation. Right. You know, uh, you can't necessarily just think about yourself all of the time. Mm -hmm. You can't do what you want to do all of the time. Right. And when and when you and when we grow up as children, we immediately come out of the womb mm -hmm. in iniquity. Oh yes. So what that means is that you got to train a child in the way that they should go. Mm -hmm. You got to teach them to be disciplined. Mm -hmm. Got to teach them to have these certain traits. You know, and I love this, you know, prudence, co uh, cooperatives, honesty, trust. That's all discipline. Right. Even self-sacrifice. Yeah. To go the extra mile mm -hmm. uh, to do something for your family mm -hmm. that costs you something but benefits the whole pack. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think that's something that, you know, you can't help but see. How this is something that you want to develop in the hearts of your children. That's so good. Yeah, I want to. Um, I want. I want you to continue, but I, I definitely want to talk about the effects of discipline because I, I, I think about what do we admire in like the, a Serena Williams. What do we admire in like a Michael Jordan or a Tiger Woods? What do we admire in these guys and these in these women? We admire their discipline. Right. You know, right. there, there are times that they want to sleep in, but they don't because right. of the discipline. Who made them get up? Yeah. Who made them get up? Who made them try something new? That's right. And, you know, uh, you can't help but see, I mean, you, watching the Serena Williams uh, story, I, I happened yep. to watch it. King Richard, yeah. King Richard, wow. It was that, that daddy that pushed him. That dad, I yeah. mean, what a personality. He had such a big personality mm -hmm. uh, that, you know, he, he taught his girls to to persevere. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. so, you know, yeah. you could see how even fathers who were not perfect, and I think that's something we gathered from King Richard, that he was he not was a perfect, perfect father. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I Preach. mean, we could see how, as women, we could find take a take a take up a, a, a have a problem with a lot of his personality traits. Mm -hmm. Yet mm -hmm. we can't help but see that yeah. you needed a personality like that mm -hmm. to create a champion, mm -hmm. or should we say, two champions? Yeah, so so you know, so then we have to go back and say, what makes, makes a, a good, good father? father. Yeah. What makes a good father? You know, it's not his, listen to this, ability to be more like a woman. Mm. Mm. Preach. <laughs> but it is his ability, really, to be more like himself. Mm -hmm. We mm. must learn to appreciate the things that make a father unique. Rather than badgering men because they don't act more like women. women. Preach. Now, I recall listening to a song and, you know, it was one of those country music songs that women think, oh, he's so sensitive. <laughs> and by the time he's taking you on all these long walks in the park and listen to every detail of every story that you would typically share with your girlfriend, mm -hmm. you no longer have a man. Yeah, I'm just come saying. On, come on. That's right. <laughs> That's right. And I personally... <laughs> 
not personally. Yeah. When you told that story, I thought, Boy, okay. I tell you keep, the keep truth. Going, they yeah, need, because they need to hear this nobody story. Nobody wants a, their husbands to be just as sensitive, sensitive as, as them. Woman. I mean, yeah. don't get me wrong. <laughs> I mean, a little sensitivity, a little bit of, you know, true, honest to God, heartfelt sympathy over a situation could be good coming from a man. Mm -hmm. But if you're crying as hard as I am, <laughs> I'm just saying. It's just... That's that's just not hey, hey, hey. not the image I'm, like the I was looking for, you know. So <laughs> a man with a strong self image does not rule his household out of out of a sense of low self esteem mm. or low self worth. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to see that if he does have what we would call a big ego, would you prefer to have a man with a low self esteem, mm. you know, or a low self worth? That is um, not better, yeah, come you on. know, yeah. and, and and I guess I'm saying that to say that, you know, uh, you should be mindful of balance, mm -hmm, you mm -hmm, know, yeah. but, you know, asking a, a man or desiring for a man to be something outside of his character is to wish for someone else. Yeah, and I'm so glad you're giving your perspective on this, you mm -hmm. know, because, um, and I have to say, <laughs> you truly understand some things, you know, and it's because you and I communicate, you know, right. go back to our first week uh, back doing this. Uh, we, we communicated with one another. You right. know, I told you what uh, I like, mm -hmm. what I didn't like, I, you know, assertiveness. Mm -hmm. You told me what you like and what you didn't like, I you sure know, did. and so it was it was something that we didn't just continue in doing because we thought we were right. Right. We actually listened to each other mm -hmm. and it brought understanding. Go back to your scripture, Proverbs chapter four. It says, get wisdom, mm -hmm. get understanding. Yes. Don't yes. forsake it, you know? Yes. And so, you know, there may be some people out there who say, well, I'm looking for the right kind of man. Well, you know, because he knows that he was created in the image of God, the right kind of man has a proper love of self. Mm -hmm. Come on. So, Rage. you know, I, I think that, yeah. you know, the overinflated ego is a bit much, mm -hmm. you know, that mm -hmm. could be hard to deal with as well. But a man with a proper love of self will make a good father. That's good. You know, yeah. but, you know, someone who has low self-esteem and low self-worth, you know, mm -hmm. that's a person who needs to get you know, more aware of what God has to say mm -hmm. about him and needs to adhere to and rely on the word of God mm -hmm. to cause him to grow in these areas. Well, I, our time is running out, but I want to say this about men in love. Mm -hmm. You know, if you look over in uh, Ephesians, uh, I believe it's Ephesians 5, where it talks about uh, the dynamics of a man and a wife, a husband and a wife. It says, wives submit to your own husbands. But it goes on to say, husbands love your wives. Mm -hmm. As Christ loved the church and gave himself, sacrificed himself. Men by nature don't know how to love. Wow, yeah. Because I believe men think of themselves. Mm -hmm. And so in order for a man to love a wife, he must learn from his father. Mm -hmm. He must learn. You know, I, I love what you just said, a proper love of self. Well, how do I love my wife how do i even love myself and, and I, if i haven't received a vision and a model of love from the heavenly father right and i think that this is a great thing for a young man to hear mm. because it really mm. changes the way you think of yourself first of all to me this really points out how important yeah you know you yeah. are to your family so if you're looking at yourself with the wrong lens mm -hmm. and you're seeing yourself as lowly and unworthy mm -hmm. that's right that's then, you, come out. then you have to know wait a minute I need to align my thoughts mm -hmm. with what the word says so that I can be the type of father that God calls me to be mm -hmm. remember a lot of the moral laws a lot of the things that are wrong in this world are because we have wrong thinking mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so how do That's we get right, right thinking That's right. well no. we get the right word and we adhere to it we rely on it and we change because of the power of the holy spirit on that word amen amen well i want to uh i want to read one scripture and then we're going to pick this up tomorrow but i do want to i want to bring out that study on discipline as oh, well okay. um but in ephesians chapter 5 and i you know, it's kind of going along with what you say. Uh, verse 1, Ephesians 5 and 1, it says, Therefore, 
be imitators of God. Mm -hmm. Act like God. Mm -hmm. Well, who is God? The Father, the Source, you know. And it says in verse 2, and walk, walk in, in love. love as Christ also has loved us and, and given, given himself, himself for, for us. us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling aroma. So we see here now that going back to the proper love of self, if a man loves himself, mm -hmm. he's going to know how to love his wife. If a right. man loves himself, he's going to be a good father. Right. If a man loves himself, he's going to be a good pastor or a good co-worker or mm -hmm. whatever. When you understand that God loves you, mm -hmm. He gives you that sense of self-worth. He right. gives you that sense of self self-esteem. He gives you that sense of, and of, even that of value. That selfless nature that says, you know, I, I need to go out and, and secure the economic yeah. situation of my household. That's I need right. to make sure that, you know, my household is protected. My mm -hmm. household is safe. That's my right. household is secure. Well, you know, you, by being this kind of man, the imitator of God, mm who walks in love and does these things that, you know, this verse says, he becomes the man that she can look up to. That's so good. That she can, you know, she can um, follow. She can, she yeah. can follow. She can submit to. Yeah. That's not to say that she doesn't have a leadership role, mm -hmm. but that, but it does mean that there is a place for the, the type of union that God designed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That it, it's going to work out well when we do things by his design. That's right. Well, uh, in, in that, just saying that last part here, Ephesians 5 and 21, it says, submit to you one to another. So you got to learn how to get each, uh, under each other's mission. Right. I mean, I think every, you know, Christian man who, you know, reads the Bible probably knows the verse about the woman submitting yeah. to the man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but if they just go up a verse that says, submit you one to another. Yeah, submit you one to another. That's right. That's I know right. we tend to kind of forget that sometimes. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, I think it, it, it helps the household run well. Yeah. It really does. So <laughs> I pray y'all received this word today. It was a good one. Another good one. Amen. I'm going to go back and watch it. Amen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. I want to give you, uh, uh, you, you want to say something? No, I uh, thought you were about to uh, do yeah, the blessing. Yeah. Uh, no, I want to just uh, give you an opportunity to sow into this message. When you hear things like this, this is really life transforming. This this can cause you, your whole Powerful life to change, teaching. your marriage to change, your children to change. When you just learn how to submit, and I'm talking to the men now, when you learn how to submit to the power of God, the word of God, let God show you how to love. Receive his love and let him show you how to love. I promise you, you will never be the same. So. There's our uh, QR code. You can scan it with your phone so that way or go to our website, wordpowerchurch.com slash donate. Amen? Amen. Did you enjoy? It was good. Amen. Let's bless the people. The, the Lord bless you, you and keep you. you. The, the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. We declare shalom and blessings over your life. And we declare that Jesus is Lord and he's upholding all things by the word of his power. Be blessed. We love you. And we'll see you next time. Amen.